Hi there, my name's Laura and I'm one of the biomedical scientists that work in histopathology. At the age of 17, I got an MLA job, medical laboratory assistant, in biochemistry, and I worked my way up. I decided after five years in biochemistry, I fancied doing something a bit different. So I was lucky enough to get a job in histopathology as a medical technical officer. And I started there and I got the opportunity at that point to do cytology as well, which is cervical screening. So I screened cervical smears, did my training for five years, and someone turned around to me and said, did you fancy doing the biomedical science degree? I didn't think I was going to be clever enough for it. And also I had two children under the age of five, but they thought they saw potential in me and I decided to give it a go. So I worked really hard for five years, got my biomedical science degree. I was really proud of myself. And I now work in histopathology and I'm studying and doing a specialist portfolio to be a specialist in histopathology. Hello, my name is Kelly Bicknell. I'm a clinical scientist in microbiology. Microbiology is the study of infectious diseases and covers anything from urinary tract infections to septicemia and pretty much any infection in between. Um, my job is specifically in virology um, and as part of that I've gone through three pandemics, swine flu, Ebola and now COVID. Um, what I love about the job is that no two days are the same, there's always something new and exciting going on. That could be new technology, new treatments or a fascinating new patient who we can help by investigating and then providing treatment and advice. Hi, my name's Ashley. I'm a trainee clinical scientist in microbiology. Um, at the moment, I'm on the scientist training program, which is a three year program run by the NHS. It trains you to become a clinical scientist, which sort of bridges the gap between biomedical scientists that work in the lab and clinicians or doctors that do more of the patient facing roles. It's very varied and it's really interesting. Every day is different um, and it always provides you with a lot of puzzles to try and work out. In the lab, we get loads of different samples sent to us from patients all across the hospital. When we get sam samples sent, they can go for bacterial culture on different types of agar plates, or we can do other incubation tests like TB, or we can do molecular tests such as PCR. Oh, hi, my name's Jo. Um, I'm a senior biomedical scientist in histopathology. Um, just to give a quick brief explanation of what histopathology is, um, it's basically um, the study of um, tissue. So um, it's used to diagnose um, cancer um, and um, it's, the diagnosis occurs on pieces of tissue that have been taken during operations and small procedures. So my role in the department is as training officer um, and we have staff with um, all that come in with all types of um, qualifications um, from just A levels up to degree level. Um, and for every member of staff, there is a training route that they can take um, to enable them to get to my position, which is as a senior biomedical scientist. So I'm responsible for guiding staff through that training route and making sure they have all the opportunities available to them to make their way to the top and become fully qualified biomedical scientists. I started in the profession um, about 30 years ago. I started with A-levels and I worked my, my way up from A-levels. Um, a, a lot of change, a lot has changed in the profession since then. Um, a lot of things have become automated that we did by hand. Um, and there's been a lot of new techniques introduced which has allowed pathologists to make a much finer diagnosis on the samples that we, we receive.